Good morning. We're here today to discuss fret saws, coping saws, and frame saws, or sometimes called turning saws. Let's get right down to it. This is a fret saw. It's very small. Its a blade is only four inches. This is a coping saw. Its blade is eight inches. The hoop on the coping saw is about eight inches above the blade as well. It's more square in shape. Fret saw, more rectangular. Fret saw is for doing teeny little things. It won't do anything over about a half inch of thickness. A coping saw will do things maybe up to three quarters, but at three quarters or more, you're really gonna struggle with it. This is a turning saw. It is a 12 inch blade and it is also a rectangular opening. It will do wood over an inch thick, maybe two inches with some struggle. But anything between inch and a half or smaller, this is the bomb. These saws, all three of these saws are operated in exactly the same manner. The right hand holds the handle loosely. It's not a death grip. It's just a gentle little open-handed grip. All it's going to be doing is pulling the saw back and forth. The left hand rests on this bar. It just holds the bar in position. And as you raise and lower the left hand, it changes the angle of the blade so that that way you're not struggling against yourself and getting all kinds of wobbles. The blade is just going to go neatly back and forth, held neatly in place by the left hand, just holding the weight of the saw at the right angle. So to begin a cut, we begin with the blade parallel to the surface and about 90 degrees into it just to get the cut started. You can use your fret saw, coping saw, turning saw, frame saw, or bow saw on either the push stroke or the pull stroke. Right now I've got this one set for the push stroke. Okay, now my blade is started. So now I get my angle matching my line. And then we can just begin with the power from the right hand. I'm not pushing very much with the right hand, just very gently. I'm following the line that I've drawn and I am trying to keep my cut parallel. That is, the front and the back are entering the wood at the same distance from the edge, right along my scribed line. So if I get relaxed into this, I should be able to take full, long strokes and at a reasonable pace. And you'll see that I am not putting any tension on the blade. Just enough pressure to keep it from falling out of the curve. It's just a slow, even pressure. And a nice, even, long stroke. And the left hand is just very gently guiding the saw blade along the pencil line. You 
with the left hand, just making very slow, gentle adjustments. If you make quick adjustments, you'll get a very jagged, bumpy cut. If you make slow adjustments, you'll get a long, very smooth cut. pretty cold here this morning. About minus two degrees. And my shop is unheated. it the cut is through and you can see that it's pretty even and smooth a quick touch up just a quick touch up with a file and it'll be perfect thank you